go into all the world and preach the gospel. Before the Lord Jesus went back up into heaven, he told his disciples that he wanted everyone everywhere to know the good news that if they would trust in the Lord Jesus, their sins would be forgiven and they would be saved. And today, the gospel of the Lord Jesus is preached all over the world to every people of every country and of every language. And isn't it strange that there are so many different languages that people speak in the world today? It wasn't always like that. When Noah and his family came out of the ark when the flood was over and they all settled to live in the same sort of place, I'm sure that they all spoke the same language to each other. And over the years, as more and more people were born and grew up and had their own families, and as the number of people living in the world got bigger and bigger, well, people began to move to look for a place where they could live, where there was enough room for, for all of them. And, and they all stayed together until they came to a place called Shinar. And there was a big, wide, flat plain where they thought there was room for all the people that were living in the world in that day. And they said to each other, let's all stay here. Let's build a city. Let's make a name for ourselves so that people will always remember us. We're the ones who came and we built the city. And let's build a tower because they had learned how to make bricks and they had learned how to build tall buildings. And so they began to build a city and to build a tower. And they said to each other, let's make a tower so high that its top will reach right up to heaven. I don't know how tall they thought they were going to make their tower. But I really don't suppose that it was anything like as tall as some of the towers that we have in the world today. And, and however tall the tower was that they could build, you can never build a tower all the way to heaven. You can never get to heaven, no matter how hard you work and how hard you try, and no matter how good you are either. And God saw what they were doing, and God knew their plans, and God knew their hearts, that they were sinful, that they had turned away from God. They thought they knew enough. They thought they could do whatever they needed to do, and they thought they could do whatever they wanted to do. And God looked at them and saw that they were full of sin, that there were none that were looking to God and trusting in him and trying to obey his word. And God was sad. And God came to separate them, to scatter them throughout the whole world that he had made for them. And God changed their languages so that as they spoke to each other, they found that they couldn't understand each other anymore. And as they spoke to each other about all the things that they were planning, that they wanted to do, they found that they couldn't do that anymore. And so they left off building their tower and they left off building their city and they moved away from that place and began to live in different places all over the world. And today, there are people living all over the world and speaking their own languages and, and having their own way of living. And God loves every single one in all the world. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And the Bible says that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And the Bible says that one day in heaven, there are going to be people from every country all over the world and of every language. And they're all going to be in heaven because the Lord Jesus loved them and died for them on the cross. And because they trusted the Lord Jesus. I hope you'll trust the Lord Jesus to be your saviour, to give you eternal life too. Thank you for listening.
and God bless you.